of blood. Friend. You best not hit my motherfucking head. Or what? Hey, Daddy. Little bald headed sucker. Okay, guys. So today I am doing something a little crazy. I am cutting all my hair off. My teeth look so yellow. I probably need a whiten, and that's why. But, um, yeah, I decided to do it because this past time, well, this past time, this past few weeks when we were on vacation, I had my hair straightened, and I feel like I've been straightening it a lot since I've been here in Arizona, and I feel like I've gotten a lot of heat damage, so I kind of just want to start all over, and also I just want something new, so I am chopping all my hair off, and just starting all over yeah and if you don't know I have been growing my hair out for going on six years now natural um so yeah and Mia's with me can you say hi and I am recording on my phone today um because I lost my camera excuse me I lost my camera when we were on vacation I lost it in someone in the uber car or whatever so I do, like, I'm using Fred's camera. He doesn't really use it, so I'm just going to use it. Um, but I'm only going to use that one for, like, filming videos because it's super bulky. So, and I just don't really feel like carrying that around. So, we're going to see how this goes today. Um, I'm, I'll try to film inside, but since Mia is coming with me and I didn't bring the other camera, um, she'll be on my phone. So, if I don't film inside or whatever um i'm definitely gonna film when i get out and show you guys the haircut and stuff like that it's like it's 9 36 right now and well you clearly know that it's a.m because it's daylight outside but it's 9 36 and my appointment is at 10 yeah so basically like for me when i look for hairdressers <clears throat> I ultimately want it to be a black woman that's doing my hair. I don't really like trust people with my hair if that makes sense and I don't know why but I would feel co more comfortable with a, a black woman or an African American woman or like a woman of color in general like doing my hair because I feel like they're familiar with my texture, they're familiar like with my hair like like my type of hair so that's what I look for mainly and it has been super hard to find like black women or african-american women in Scottsdale like it's so hard so I did find two women of color that uh, work here in Arizona and they cut hair or do hair one of them actually moved to Florida and the one that is cutting my hair today um she actually wasn't in yesterday because i was just gonna do it spontaneously yesterday um she wasn't in but she was actually moving here back into scottsdale so yeah but she got back to me um when she could and she told me to come in at 10 today so that's what i'm doing but yeah so i would just say do your research hopefully she cuts my hair the way I want it and I like it and I would ho well hopefully it just goes as planned and if it does like I would definitely recommend her but if not we'll see I mean it won't really bother me to be bald head like I've been bald head before and this time I feel like I'll actually have curls because when I first transitioned my hair was so fried from relaxing it that it didn't even have like any type of texture to it so I'm actually like looking forward this time to having short hair and just like enjoying it like I just want something like that's less maintenance like because I really feel like I need to focus more on Mia's hair instead of my hair and I just feel like two natural hair women or girls in the same house is a lot of work so I just want something different and I don't really want to dye my hair because I don't want to damage it more than it already is. So, yeah, let's just cross my fingers and hope that everything goes well. Okay, so me and Mia, we are in the building um, right now. We're in a quiet zone, so I have to talk really softly. Um, she's not here yet, but again, my appointment's not until 10, so it's okay. 
Pues yo sé bien, lady. Um, I'm trying to get a little nasty. But yeah. Oh yeah, we'll, I'll probably have... Don't tell me. We'll probably have a vlog tomorrow. Or I'm probably going to be vlogging tomorrow. Because Mia starts her first day of daycare tomorrow in Arizona. <laughs> Got some knots going on there. Looks like your daddy's. Okay. Yeah, but <coughs> yeah. Right, so, wish us luck. Say good luck. Okay. <laughs> So this is what it looks like and I feel like she could have gone shorter like in this area and like back here but it's fine I feel like it kind of looks more like a little frizz ball but I feel like once I style it it'll look better but I like it I like it a lot actually yeah well I guess I can come back on here when I actually style it or something hey Mia wants to say hi. Yeah, Fred hates it. <laughs> Mia, can I, they see me? No. Oh, there's Daddy. Yeah. But yeah. Goodbye, Daddy. Hey, Mia. <laughs> All right. So, I found my camera, but we're taking Mia to daycare today. Are you excited, baby? Yeah, Daddy's putting her in right now. So yeah, we have an eventful day. Hopefully everything goes smooth. And things like that. So yeah, her extra clothes. Her water bottle. And her unicorn backpack that she literally almost died for so yeah we're no way to drop our little baby off her well this isn't her first real day like this is well okay so it's her first real day at this daycare but she's gone to daycare before when she was like one years old i used to work at a daycare in college station um but we live in arizona now so we're taking her to school say hi daddy his first day so blood friend okay so yeah um we're about to head there right now i'm just kind of letting the car heat up for a little bit do you have any encouraging words for mia today someone hit you hitting them back friend mia you're gonna have a good day at school today you're gonna meet lots of new friends and you're gonna have a lot of fun right and you're gonna learn new things with smarty pants. <laughs> Mommy and daddy love you. We're dropping me off at 7.30. Uh, my friend Summer, I'm gonna be watching her son for the last week this week. And then he'll be going to daycare too. So he'll be here around 8.30ish also. Um, yeah, so. <laughs> Yeah, and then after I'm watching him, I gotta go to the gym and things like that. And Fred has to go work out as well. So, yeah. But we'll see you when we get there. So, bye. bye. For now. Say bye, me. We're here. Are you excited? Yeah. Yeah? Okay. So, we're here. I'm gonna get her stuff and everything ready to take her in there. You have all her stuff? Yeah, her clothes, her backpack. Oh, I guess I need my bag. So I'm probably not gonna film inside. I'm just gonna film her. So yeah, all right, first day. Okay, so me and Fred, we 
just got home from eating breakfast and dropping Mia off on her first day of school. Um, I didn't really record in the daycare because, you know, there's other people's children in there. And first of all, I don't have their consent to film their children. So, yeah, I'm just not going to do that. And it's a little weird. Um, so, yeah, but I, um, Mia was kind of a little nervous. But I think it's just because she doesn't really know anyone there. So we'll see what happens. Oh yeah, um, I got my hair cut. I'm pretty sure on social media you guys have seen it. But I don't know if I'm going to post this vlog first or my haircut vlog. So just in case you won't be all shocked. But I cut all my hair off. And everyone keeps asking me if I regret it or things like that just why and stuff but I love it I don't regret it and I feel like I look like my little Walita. so yeah yeah Mia will be home well Mia gets out at 4 30 um we'll see how it goes I might even pick her up at four who knows um but yeah so we drop her off at 7 30 to 4 30 and then um summer gets off at 4 30 so i'll have time to go get mia and come back and summer should be here hopefully um yeah and then after that i have to go to the gym so that's kind of like the day i'll try and take you guys with me when i go to the gym um it's just like a little weird like filming while my personal trainer is with me so we'll just see how it goes and things so it's like a little after 12 Asen's here he's on the floor with the little pallet he's about to take a nap watching uh i think it's like super monsters or something like that and then we got lunch he had some fruit but he had already eaten oatmeal too so and i got a salad i think you saw that yeah yeah and i i before jackie and them like had posted it on um instagram and stuff about talking about this tea Alyssa ashley and raven had talked about it on i guess her instagram and her snapchat but i had seen it the other day and i was reading about it i was like hmm it sounds interesting and then they posted it on their instagram and um i guess it's like one of jackie jackie's favorite drinks so um and if you don't know who those people are, they're like YouTubers. So yeah, I decided I should go out and try it. And I picked this this flavor up. And it is so good, you guys. Like, I wouldn't tell you something that's good if it's nasty because I can't do nasty. Mm -mm. So yeah, it's pretty good. This is the maca berry. Yeah, it's really good for you. It has 40 calories and... 10 milligrams of sodium, there's zero trans fat, um, nine, nine grams of carbohydrates, six grams of sugar, and there's zero protein in it. But it's supposed to, let me see. I think it's like, it's just like really healthy. Um, I think this is, well, it's like gluten-free. It's certified vegan. Yeah, I think it's just like really good for your body. It has like exotic and rare superfoods and it's made out of glass instead of plastic so I guess like all around it's just like really good for the environment and your body so yeah maybe you guys should try it and tell me what you guys think but yeah I'm about to eat some lunch and let Asen take his little nap because I'm gonna try to take a nap too because I've been up since like 6 30 ish so yeah I'm kind of tired yeah, I'm about to eat my lunch and yeah. Okay, so we're on our way to go get Mia. I'm so excited. I can't wait to see how her first day went. So yeah, and I'm about to be driving, so I'm not gonna be filming because I have someone else's child here, so. And people drive crazy here. But yeah, so I'll see you when I- Sorry. You wasn't fighting? <gasps> how was your first day? Good. Did you love it? Yeah. Are you ready to come back tomorrow? Okay, so clearly she had fun and it went well, so see how tomorrow goes.